Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. Today I've got another player review for you guys and today we have got Chiro Immobile with us. You guys might know who he is. He's a really, really good striker from Calcio A who plays in uh, Lazio. And uh, now if you look at his stats, his, uh, as you guys can see, his weak for is 4 stars, so that's, that's really good for a striker. His skill moves uh, 3 star, but you do expect a striker to... To have a three-star skill moves, that's not bad for a striker. I mean, he's, his height is six-one, so he's he's not that high, and then it works. It goes hand in hand. And his in-game stats, his pace is amazing. His acceleration is is decent. His sprint speed is really good. Then his shooting is amazing. Positioning is great. Finishing is great. Shot power is great. Long shots are decent. Volleys are are great. Penalties they don't really matter, but they're also decent. Passing is not that great. But it's not a type of card that you use for passing anyways. His dribbling, his agility is, is really good, but his balance is is not as as is not as decent to be honest. 67 is pretty low for someone who is 6-1, but we'll take it. Uh, his reactions are amazing, his ball control is decent, his dribbling is decent, and then his composure is great as well. Uh, defending really doesn't matter, but his adding accuracy is 84, so that is great. Really aggressive player with 83. Strength is also good. Stamina is decent. Jumping is also good. Uh, with that type of stamina, you probably would sub him out of the game in the, like in mid of the second half. But depends on the games. But that is not a really really good stamina. But his in-game stats overall are really really amazing. So basically, what we do is I'll just uh, go ahead and play games with him, and then. Uh, while I'll show you guys the gameplay, I'll be talking on how he did and what I think of him. And to accompany him, we have got a complete culture A side. Uh, and I'm hoping that with the help of this side, we would be able to test more of his skills and his abilities. Uh, just because he is on uh, 10 cam and that is obviously great for him. We've got a Sharavi, we have got uh, Felipe Anderson, then we have got Bernadeschi, uh, Matuidi. Spinazzola, uh, Hulam, Bonucci, Lone, uh, De Maio, Cancelo, and then Legendary Buffon. So I'll just go ahead into the gameplay, guys, and let's see how he does. So into the gameplay we go, guys. I must say it's been a long time since I've played with a proper striker, and I'm glad that I was able to use this card. This card was, it's like a card, it's like a player that, you know, you, you just want him everywhere, and he is everywhere, you know, like, it's, it's the player, like, you're not gonna... Regret putting your money on. He, he he's gonna be everywhere on the pitch. His movement of the ball is amazing. He creates so much space for the other strikers to get in, and that just creates so much uh, goal scoring opportunities. Obviously, uh, since this is a review a review video, I was trying to get everything done with him, goals, assists, dribble dribbles, and all that stuff. But if you're playing a, a you know like a proper match, whether it's weekend league or whether it's season or whatever it is. He, he's just so good that he creates so much space. I mean, his shooting is amazing. His finishing is amazing. His his vision is, I mean, on the on the paper, it's not good. His passing on the paper is not good, but I was still able to get uh, assists with him and uh, was able to get some good through passes. And uh, basically, what I think the biggest weakness with this guy is that his balance is, is not good at all. And uh, since his balance is not good, he doesn't have a good hold of himself. And uh, with the acceleration that he has, I think it was 80. And uh, basically, since his acceleration isn't as fast as his sprint speed, it takes a few seconds for him to be able to get, you know, ready with, like, to be able to comp get the ball forward. It's not that easy with him because just because his uh, balance and his uh, acceleration isn't as great. But I think this. I mean, I was playing with uh, with four three three, and uh, he was the only striker. He was, but he was still able to get everything done for me. I think if you have four two one two, uh, another striker that's really fast with him, and uh, if you have a hunter camp side on him, I believe his uh, shooting goes up to ninety nine, and his uh, movement, his his pace goes up to ninety five or something around that. But basically, as you guys you guys could see, the the second match was amazing with him. Lots of goals. Uh, I really had fun uh, playing with this card just because uh, he was everywhere, and that's the type of striker that I use. 
even though his stamina is not as great, it's only 76. It, he he's, he's still a warrior. I think he was he was everywhere on the pitch. The only thing that I don't like with him, like I already said, is his acceleration. Because if you get the ball to him and if you wanna start the attack off him, it's not gonna be easy since he doesn't have that uh, acceleration. But uh, I think the best uh, attribute that he has is his positioning and his movement of the ball. I had him on a balanced uh, player instruction, and he was everywhere on the pitch and you guys could see he also started some of the decks with his passes and uh, some of those I was able to get uh, get in, with, uh, in in the back of the net and some I wasn't able to get in back of the net and even his uh, passing on the paper uh, on his attributes is not as great but overall his passing like he can get those uh, through balls or like you know short passes everything is great with him and his dribbling sometimes he's good off with the ball but sometimes he's not as good with the ball just because of his balance like I already said his agility is good. You can feel it. And uh, again, even though, the, as you can see, in the, could see in that clip, it, he was offside. But his his movement is so great. Even in this clip, you can see he's 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 right off the pitch, and that creates space for other strikers. And uh, just you could see that he's everywhere on the pitch. Like I mean, I only had one striker, and, and I didn't have any problem with him. I was able to score goals. I was able to uh, make opportunities, and it went really really smooth. And after three matches, I mean, it says four, obviously, uh, one of the match, it was a, I just started the match, but then the guy, he quit, uh, you know, he forfeited, just like the last match that we played, there was a rage quit for no reason, even though the guy was winning. But from the three matches, uh, we've scored eight goals with him, and uh, two assists, the second match was absolutely goal fest, but for me, this card is amazing. Just his aggressiveness, his strength, his stamina is not good yet, but his aggressiveness, his strength, his composure, and his shooting and his finishing is absolutely amazing. This type of player you need definitely in your team. And I know, I mean, his uh, acceleration isn't great. You, maybe you can play 4-1-2-1-2, uh, one, two, one, two, you know, with another striker, uh, and that guy can be fast. But even though he wasn't as fast for me, but his, his, his finishing is am amazing, and uh, his vision is also good. I mean, his passing isn't as good as in the... As on the paper, but it was still two assists from him. And since his uh, since his uh, movement is so good, he just creates so much space, and it just creates uh, a lot of opportunities for other guys. But yeah, that was it for the review, guys. I hope you have liked it, and I would definitely recommend you guys to go and buy him. And uh, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Do like and subscribe and share, and I'll see you guys in the next one.